Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get anti-x-ray set up on your server and this will be using paper spigots, uh, anti-x-ray settings, as well as my anti-x-ray script or plugin that I've made on spigot. So uh, I'm going to show you guys how to uh, download and install this script on your Minecraft server and it does work on versions 1.9 to 1.15. I'm uh, running 1.15.1 right now. So let's go ahead and get right into this. Be sure to check out this video's sponsor, Sangata. Sangata is a new and unique marketplace where you can find free or paid custom plugins. With the help of continuous user and developer feedback, Sangata is continuously working towards making those ideas a reality. Visit the Sangata marketplace and Discord with the links below. So here's the anti-x-ray and uh, you go ahead and just download the zip file and uh, it's going to contain two jars and then a script file. So uh, what you want to do is once you have uh, downloaded it, go to your Minecraft host. Uh, if you guys want to check out uh, Revive Node, highly recommend them. A uh, link is down in the description and can you use my code striker for 10% off your purchases. So once you have downloaded the zip, uh, first things first is that you want to unzip it or extract it uh, specifically wherever you want to have it. Uh, so I'm going to just extract to my downloads folder and then here is the, it basically just unzipped it so once you have your sk carry and script.jar you want to place both of those in your plugins folder so go to your plugins folder on your minecraft server uh, and go ahead and just place those uh, both of those jars in here and it will start to upload uh, as you see it is uploading just like that so once they have finished uploading go ahead and restart your server so once you restart your server, you will have a script folder that has generated. So go into the script folder, and then you want to go into the scripts folder inside that folder as well. And then here is going to be where you're going to place your uh, scripts. So uh, there's a whole bunch of loaded by default. They are all disabled uh, how they are, but go ahead and just place this axr.sk into there, and that will just upload. So before we go back in game, I want to show you guys how to set up paper spigot anti x-ray settings. So uh, you will have to be using paper spigot. It's just uh, uh, updated fork of normal spigot uh, so I, I recommend using paper spigot because there's a lot more customization that you can do with it so to do that we're gonna go into the paper.yml and uh, I'm just gonna head and control find and we'll find this uh, anti x-ray all right so by default it is disabled so I'm gonna head and change this to true so there's uh, several different types of engine modes there is one and then there's two so one is basically uh, it hides it in a certain radius and then the engine mode two uh, it, it obfuscates the or uh, in the specific world and it basically does the whole entire world so uh, 2 does have a little bit more uh, pull more resources from your server the update radius uh, where, where it updates uh, so when a player gets closer it will update it so it's only 2 uh, you can change it higher or lower whatever you want uh, I highly recommend that so go ahead and just save that file and uh, go ahead and restart your server so I'm going to head and just come in to this console tab and go ahead and say uh, restart and that will just restart my server so once you have uploaded your script as well as change your paper spigot if you wanted to do that you can go ahead and do sk reload and axr and that will go ahead and reload your anti-x-ray script that you uploaded so now we can go ahead and do the command slash axr and here is the gui menu that uh, is involved with the or so we have an or counter we have the or alerts and then we have the enable world if you guys do have an error message uh, saying something like it can't find the world uh, here is where you can select uh, whatever world that you want it to be enabled by default it is just a normal default default world called world so if you want to change it you go ahead and, and uh, select it and then uh, the available roles uh, it will search uh, all the worlds that you have on your minecraft server and then whatever one that you want selected uh, for it to be enabled go ahead and select the one so say we wanted like the world at nether to be the, the world that we want it go ahead and just type it in chat and it will be enabled in that specific world but i want it to, to be just in the normal world so i'm going to go ahead and just say world so there we go so uh, the next thing is the alert settings so uh, we have a timer and then we also also have the or alerts and then auto detection so auto detection is, is basically uh, it will automatically punish a player if they mine the specific ores uh, within the timer amount and then the or alerts are just going to send alerts to staff so uh, this is all uh, customizable however you want it for your minecraft server and then on the end here it tells you the the total amount of ores that you have so i'm going ahead and uh, enable this and we're going to head and enable the diamond one and then we're going to change the amount to diamond uh we'll just change it to three and then we're going to change we'll change gold to like two so this is only uh, for my video and then i'm going to change the timer amount as well so we'll go ahead and change it to about like uh, five seconds okay so all this is specifically for my video and uh 
you can change it however you want. If you don't want a specific order to be enabled, so go ahead and just like boost up the amount to like a hundred or something like impractical, so you won't get alerts for that specific ore. So for right now in this video, I'm gonna have the the gold enabled and the diamond. So. So I went ahead and put on a x-ray resource pack. As you see, there's a whole bunch of different random ores that we have. And this is uh, included with uh, paper spigots. Uh, and uh, there we go. So as you see, it is working properly. Uh, so this is the obfuscation setting that we have in paper spigot. So so this is what it looks like. So this is uh, sort of your anti-x-ray deterrent that you have. And uh, TPS is uh, SIL 20, which is really good. So this is built into paper spigot. So I just want to make sure you guys know that and understand that. So uh, let me go ahead and show you guys how these alerts work and how uh, you can customize it and get it uh, set up for your server. So now I'm going to show you guys how you can start testing out the alerts. Uh, if you are testing it by yourself like I am, this is the method that you need to use. So if you want to test out the alerts, make sure that you have uh, world edit and this will be sort of like natural spawning ore. So I'm going to head and set uh, this to diamond ore just like so. And then I'm going to give myself a diamond pickaxe and then you do have to be in game mode zero uh, in order for this to work. And you also have to remove uh, the permission node axr.exempt because uh, this is a permission node that ops have so you can either you can deop yourself or you can just remove that permission node so i'm going to ahead and remove that permission node from my user so we'll do lp uh, user and then we'll be permission and then we'll do set and then axr.exempt and there is a permission node and we're going to set that to false so that is uh bypassing the alert system go ahead and start mining and if we mine a few within five seconds we should get an alert notification uh because we are opt and there we go so uh we can go ahead and click uh the player to teleport to them and then if you hover over here there's going to be other commands so the other commands that are enabled are slash v and then also uh, spectator mode so so if we go ahead and click it, as you see, we are now in Vanish, and then we did get put into spectator mode. Now we can go ahead and just click it, and it will teleport to that player, but in this instance, it is me. So I would just like teleport to that player. So that is the alert system. And then all this is customizable between uh, however long that you want. So that is the timer. So every X amount of seconds, as long as that player mines at least three or more ores, uh, for example, we got three diamonds, then it will send me a notification and it did just that. So let's go ahead and go back into GM0 and we'll go out of Vanish as well and see how many ores we can mine in five seconds. And so we'll just mine, 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 and then let's see how many. And there we go. We mine six diamonds in five seconds and uh, we can go and just teleport and then it will teleport to that player and then uh, the other feature within the the alert system is this auto detection so let's go ahead and enable auto detection and then so this is uh you can set these all up in the the axr.sk uh basically the config file and if we go ahead and, uh, and change this so let's go ahead and change this to uh five diamonds so if a player mines five diamonds within five seconds then we will get the auto punish feature which is the kick at first so let's go ahead Ahead and mine these real quick we'll go ahead and start mining and we'll should be able to get five within that time and, and there we go as you see it says uh, soul striker might be x-raying that is the alert that staff will see and then it will kick that specific player saying please remove your x-way you have been warned and this will happen three times so as long as it happens three times, it will kick them, and then on the third time, it will temp ban them. So you can uh, change all the different types of uh, punishments in the config. Before we go ahead and uh, dive in the config, I'm going to show you guys uh, this ore counter right here. So the ore counter, you have to activate it first, and then you can look up specific players. So uh, if we type in like a, a random player, let's go ahead and type that in. As you see, they have never joined the server, uh, but you can check uh, offline players as well as long as they have joined. So I'm going to go ahead and actually put my username in. And and uh, there we go, uh, we have successfully searched. And, uh, and as you see, it does say zero because we did not enable it. But let's go ahead and start mining uh, three ores right here. And then we can go ahead and look up my username as well. So when it finished, as you see, we do get the same uh, a notification, which is uh, working properly. Go to the ore counter, and then now we can actually look up my username. And uh, there we go, as you see, it does say three diamonds, and then it gives me the total right there. So the reason it didn't count before is because it wasn't enabled. So you do have to have this enabled uh, before you start. So let's go ahead and uh, go into config to show you guys what you can change. So to get into the configuration file, uh, we're going to go to 
our plugins folder and then you're going to go back into the script folder and then go into the scripts and then you're going to be opening the axr.sk so this is what it looks like the axr.sk and then here uh, i show you guys how to use it with placeholders if you want to have a scoreboard for the ors that players have mined uh, you can totally do that uh, as totally optional if you guys have any questions at all be sure to join my discord uh, and here is the discord link right here so here is the configuration options that you have and then this is pretty much all the different types of messages and then don't change anything in the percent uh, because those are the placeholders so that uh, recognizes that just makes the plugin recognize that there is a specific player with that so don't change that at all uh, but you can change the color codes and then anything else that you want but just don't change uh, that at all and then here is the alert message uh, for for the hover and then as you saw in the chat it says just click to teleport to that specific player that is mining and then in here are the different commands that you can have so for example if you want to disable one you can just put the hashtag in front of it and then it will just uh, disable it but so here is the the first command so it's going to be teleported to that player and then uh, this is uh, you only need the slash uh, for the first command all the other commands you can uh, add it to whoever you want so this is the game mode spectator and then it puts the player in spectator mode and then vanish so you can uh, have the alerts uh, do different types of things so for example if you had a staff plugin you can just uh, would type in like staff and then that that specific player uh, so uh, you can have it however you want and then make sure you have the correct sounds for your specific minecraft version and then you have auto detection right here and then uh, you can add as many commands as you want so uh, the auto kick time uh, so this is two it will uh, it will kick them twice and then on the third time it will attempt ban them and then it will clear their inventory and then temp ban that player so uh, and then here's a message so as you saw at the beginning it kicked me and it says please remove your x-ray you have been warned uh, so that is uh, everything that you can do with that and that is the end of the configuration file so uh, once you have uh, edited and save it all you have to do is just save the file and then uh, back in gaming and uh, switch over to uh, the game and then we can just do uh, xr uh, rl and that will just reload uh, whatever thing that you saved so let's go ahead and uh, set a few different things with uh, the auto detection so let's go back into alert settings I'm just gonna change uh, we'll change gold to like a two or something just to make it easy and then let's go ahead and uh, add some more gold right here so we'll set that to gold ore just like so and then we'll go ahead and start mining and as you see uh, it gives the same message again and then there there is the second uh, kick time so let's go ahead and try it again so then on the last try, if we go ahead and mine some more gold, we should get temp banned this time. And there we go. As you see, we have been temp banned for two hours, uh, basically two hours. And then it says remove your x-ray. So uh, that is all configurable inside the AXR.SK. So let me go ahead and unban myself real quick. That pretty much concludes my anti-x-ray plugin and then uh, in collaboration with uh, Paper Spigot's anti-x-ray as well. So hope you guys did enjoy. If you have any questions, uh, come join my Discord and make a support ticket. And uh, if you have any uh, errors or questions. So hope you guys did enjoy the video. Let me know what you want to see next. I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Peace out.